My name is Nicole Fry. Um, I, at PC here, I'm a, actually a senior, and um, I was born in Orlando, Florida, but my family have always been, I've always grown up in Dallas, Georgia, like here. So I've always been kind of like a Paulding girl, Paulding person. Um, I actually moved away for some time. I studied at an international school in Mexico for four years. That's where I kind of became bilingual. I got really interested in like rigorous course loads and coursework. And then I came back after four years and I continued my education in the public um, school system. And then my older brother, he was actually the first in my family to attend the magnet program at Paulding. And it was it wasn't initially kind of a plan. Like we weren't maybe like students who had always known we want to go into like a STEM certified school or a magnet program. It was kind of, he was just interested. He had a talk. He had Mr. Peterson come and talk to him at his middle school. And he was just like, you know, I'm going to do it. And he's always been my role model and my idol and who I've looked up to. And so I thought, well, he's just blossoming in this program. And I was like, well, I guess I have to try it too. So I went, um, I applied, I got in. And so I've been at the Magnet program here for four years now. And it's been the best experience of my life. I mean, it's the reason why I've had the opportunity to even go to ISEF this year. And so it's definitely set my foundation and um, instilled a passion for science within me and for STEM. And it's opened so many doors of opportunities right now. Like currently, I'm hoping, I'm actually committed and I'm going to tech in the fall for biomedical engineering. So that's just something that I don't think would have even been possible if I actually hadn't ended up here in Paulding County High School. So at Paulding County High School in the Magnet program, we have pathways that you can follow. And so for Magnet specifically, you can choose to go either healthcare or biotechnology. And we all start with intro to healthcare. But after seeing my brother do science fair, because he was also one um, in his group, they, he went both years to the UGA State Science Fair. And so he got to go. And after seeing that, I just was like, I need to do this. I need to try this. I would hear him talk about it and all these like, like really big terms and all this terminology and just this groundbreaking science to me as a freshman. I was like, I mean, I have to do this. Like This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So um, I pursued the biotechnology pathway for that reason. And I just fell in love with it. You know, I'm, I feel so fortunate every day to have all of these students. They're, each one is so incredible for so many reasons I can't even begin to articulate. Uh, Nicole specifically, she has just a, a great personality. Let me give an example. She worked for a full year on a research project using something called the CRISPR-Cas9 system for her research and things weren't working out. She actually sat down throughout the summer and totally changed her project, came in with something brand new and, and obviously has done very well with that. So that's sort of a, a testament to her um, resilience, uh, her ability to not get frustrated and to, to really learn from, from, from failures and, and push forward. She has worked so hard and she for three courses of research, went through a struggle using a certain technique, but she learned from that. And so when she changed her project this year, she was able to bring a, not only a fresh perspective and a new innovative idea, but also carry all of her experiences from her past research into that. So to, to see her get that level of recognition is incredibly uh, rewarding and very gratifying because she is so deserving of this. The staff and teachers here at Paulding County High School are amazing. You know, our mantra is always like, as iron sharpens iron. So here, we're meant to challenge each other. And while we challenge each other, we just discover more about ourselves. So that is just a really awesome opportunity, but also a great environment to be in. As for the district, there, it's been amazing what they offer us because this is the first year that, um, along with Cobb and Paulding together, um, joint, they're able to send two students um, to ISAF. And so that's a very expensive trip. And it's also just a very amazing opportunity and amazing conference to actually attend. So I'm just so excited because Honestly, like the opportunity, I'm apparently I'm the first person in the district's history to be able to go from Paulding County High School. So I'm just, I'm humbly like honored to be able to have this opportunity. ISEF is an international, um, it's science and engineering fair. You compete against 84 different countries and it's, 
it's just an experience. Like if any science nerd or science person or science guru would just love to attend because you get to actually sit with panelists, um, you get to meet people from different countries who have the same passion for science as you do. And um, the conference overall just really solidifies what you already know about yourself, is that this is what you want to do for the rest of your life. But it opens so many doors of opportunities. You have all these professionals that are coming to see these different finalists. Um, you get offered different monetary awards and scholarships. Um, you also get just recognized. Your name gets out there. It helps, for example, me going to a research institution. It helps put my name out there that research is what I love doing. And it also opens opportunities for freshmen who want to maybe get into undergraduate labs. It did for my brother. And so at this international level, all I can think of is all of these benefits will just really be like doubled. So I'm really excited to be attending. My project is the cloning of Ceratina marcesin's Chi A gene as a biocontrol alternative for plants that are targeted by pathogenic fungi. So it's a fairly big title, but essentially there are plants that are targeted by harmful fungi, and these fungi cause diseases. But these plants don't have defense systems to um, protect themselves um, from these different diseases. So what after doing like a lot of months of research and looking into just scientific literature, um, I figured that there is a bacteria called Ceratium marcescens, and this bacteria contains a gene called Chi A. This gene encodes for an enzyme called chitinase, and chitinase breaks down chitin. Fungi, structurally, their cell walls contain chitin, so if plants are able to secrete this enzyme, the whole point is for them to develop this defense system where they're no longer targeted by these pathogenic fungi or these different elicitors because they now have this defense system where they can break down the cell walls of these fungi and then are no longer killed. For example, Georgia um, loses about $19 million in yield loss and from crop failures due to these different um, pathogenic fungi like botrytis blight and black hole and leaf spot. So, my target is I wanted to start somewhere close to home, which is Georgia for me, and peanut plants, like I love peanuts, but pe peanuts specifically are very much targeted by these pathogenic fungi. So I thought this concept, this methodology can truly be applied to any sort of plant that is has this different um, problem along with like these pathogenic fungi. So that's kind of like the basis of my research. A lot of times when um, wanting to do um, gene isolations and simply when trying to isolate DNA in itself, we'll do, we'll run what's called gel electrophoresis. So it's a mechanism we do. And after we've done gel electrophoresis to really separate the DNA band by its sizes, we'll have to actually analyze our gel that we stain in fast blast for about 24 hours. And so what we do for this is it just gives us a better image of what we're trying to look at and really see if our DNA bands are in the correct area of um, where our DNA ladder or our marker is indicating that it should be. Um, I've sent off two different sequences that have been successful. Um, I've been told by NCBI that they have reached a 99% homology with their databases on amino acid levels and nucleotide acid levels, which tells me that I was actually able to isolate my chi -A gene and now I can use it and insert it into vectors for whatever purpose purposes that I may be doing it, which is for my science fair project with plants and that are targeted by different pathogenic fungi. So. Once I graduate, I'll be going to Georgia Tech. Um, I'm really excited. I'll be majoring in biomedical engineering. My alternate major is chemical molecular engineering. However, um, I've definitely talked to a lot of like computer science majors, so I'm thinking about maybe double majoring somewhere in there. I've been applying to a lot of scholarships in order to really try to immerse myself in research and contain grants and like obtain grants so I can actually do research as a freshman. Um, that's what my brother's doing now and it's definitely inspired me to keep that going. Um, biomedical engineer wise, it, I just think it's an amazing field to go into. I hope to actually go to medical school after college and kind of what I want to do is I want to live outside the country and I just want to travel and have volunteer based clinics for people who don't have healthcare because being in this magnet program has taught me that Although I may not know like my purpose in life, I know that I want to help people who can't help themselves. And this whole experience is what's helped me complete that.